Hey everybody, it's Ben from Badgelist, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your first learning group, creating your first badge, and then inviting your learners via URL. Uh, so when you first create your Badgelist account, you're just going to see your home screen. And so if you want to create a learning group, you're just going to come down here and click this create button. And this will walk you through the very simple process of creating your first learning group. All you have to do is give it a name choose whether you want it to be open or closed, and then upload an image profile. Uh, you can then click Create Group, and you will have your first group. The problem is that it won't have any badges in it yet. And so what you want to do to populate your group with badges is one of two things. You can either create your own custom badge, or you can actually copy badges from other open groups, which I'll show you in a different tutorial. So today we're just going to create a badge from scratch. You just want to click this green create a badge button, and this will bring you to the badge editing interface. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to do a really simple badge for posting a tweet. Uh, so we're going to call the badge post a tweet, and we're going to give them a summary, which just says this badge is awarded to anyone who posts a tweet. Um, you can upload a custom image for the badge as well, or you can use our really simple badge image editor if you're just getting started and you want to go quickly. Now, the most important thing to do with your badge is create required evidence items. So we really believe that the meaning of a badge is the learning evidence that's offered in order to earn that badge. So for this badge, it's going to be very simple. All they have to do is post a tweet, but you can actually have as many evidence requirements as you want. They can be as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. Um, so for this one, uh, we're just going to say that the required evidence is to post a tweet. We just want them to link to their tweet, and then you can choose your evidence format. Uh, it can be an open format. You can have it be text, a link, an image, um, or you can actually embed tweets inside Badgelist with the tweet option, which is pretty spicy. So then all you have to do is click this orange check button, and then you can just click, click your create the badge button, and then you will have your first badge inside of your group. Um, so here's your group, here's your first badge, and you know as you create more badges, you'll see them all arrayed right down here. Now here is the really important and valuable tip for today. You can invite members to your group using this add members down here by adding their email, but a much simpler way is to invite them by the URL. So every group and every badge inside Badgeless has a unique URL. So all you have to do if you want to bring them into the group is copy this URL and then you can post it on your website, on a tweet. Um, and then all they have to do is click that URL. It will bring them to this exact screen where then they can join the group, they can join the badge, it'll walk them through the process of creating their badges account, which is really simple. Um, and then you can do the same with the badge. If you want them to just come to one specific badge, you can copy the unique URL of the badge and invite them that way. So I hope this is helpful for you. Enjoy using Badgelist, and let me know if you have any questions down at the bottom right in the intercom box. Thanks.